I wanted to express some of my concerns with the Rivian delivery van, which is an exciting product if you think about the idea that Amazon, this big, you know, multi-billion dollar corporation is investing a lot into Rivian, which gives them the startup cash they need. And of course, Amazon's main interest is getting 100,000 of these delivery vans by the end of the decade. But basically, the more we find out about this van, the less excited I am for it, because as of most recently, we heard from a driver that's been testing out one of the the early prototypes of the delivery van that once the AC or heating system is turned on they lose about 40% of their range which was already not great once we noticed that the tech specs from some SEC filings show the Rivian delivery van had a max range of around 150 miles with a plan of later offering a 200 mile variant so perhaps for like driving around city streets and just delivering packages at low speed you know you're not doing cross-country road trips with this van so it doesn't need that much battery power but it certainly makes me a little bit concerned about the efficiency of a lot of Rivian's vehicles. I mean they're kind of biting off a lot right now between delivering the first electric truck which also happens to be the least efficient electric vehicle in the world which really shouldn't be a shock considering it is a pickup and all the other electric vehicles on the world are sedans and crossovers and compacts so yeah the pickup truck's not going to be as efficient but the vehicles Rivian has decided to start their lineup with are by design very very battery hungry the first r1t's being delivered have 135 kilowatt hour battery packs only short of like the hummer ev that's like the largest battery that i've seen customer deliveries of and we don't know the kilowatt hour capacity of these delivery vans but finding out that they're possibly not even using heat pumps for the hvac system is not a good sign and i really don't want rivian getting comfortable with the idea that well because of this fundamental design of the van or this fundamental design of the pickup the only solution has to be just add more batteries to it because that is the biggest limiting factor that all electric vehicle companies are struggling with outside of the chip shortage which is supposed to be more of a short-term thing long term there's simply not enough factories on the planet to sustain the type of demand there is for electric vehicles so there's a lot of benefits to making evs that require less cells overall and the delivery van if it's using some kind of inefficient hvac system is just going to need more batteries it means it's going to cost more to operate and even though I'm a huge fan of the R1T and I love checking it out and I genuinely thought about like kind of wanting to buy one one day probably the biggest deterrent for me was finding out the cost of the Electrify America network and even if Rivians did support supercharging just being so much less efficient than traditional electric vehicles that means you're going to be paying a lot more per mile so the cost savings of going with electric instead of gas are quite a bit lower if you play around with the a better route planner app and see how much it costs to take a Rivian across the country or on a road trip. And I'm assuming the delivery van is not going to be much more efficient, but because of their contract with Amazon, essentially they have to keep prioritizing this van, keep mass producing it, and it's likely going to be using a lot of batteries. And another weird detail I discovered was that this delivery van has a dual motor front wheel drive, simply because that's the motor that they were already planning for the Rivian R1T, which has, you know, four in total, two in the front two in the back and maybe it was easier for them to just divert some of those motors into the van but I have a feeling you know electric motors are fairly capable you could probably do a single motor delivery van which maybe not be as crazy fast but maybe lighter weight more power efficient and hopefully they can get some more efficient HVAC tech in there so that the delivery vans can stay on the road delivering packages and you don't have to worry about the efficiency going down too fast that way you're not so battery constrained because I imagine a decent number of orders coming in for Rivian R1Ts and R1Ss, but if Rivian is inclined to keep delivering more and more vans with big old battery packs to Amazon, that's going to substantially slow down how many vehicle deliveries they can actually make. So I really, really hope that Rivian is charging an adequate price for all of these delivery vans so that they don't go bankrupt, basically just trying to service Amazon with their vehicles. Because I'm really a big fan of the R1T, with now having more extensive experience with it. The R1S also seems really, really cool, and I want those vehicles to be produced at volume finding out that their production line is pretty slow right now is kind of what I expected knowing that this was their first you know production ramp there's likely a lot of challenges and hurdles they're gonna be going through and trying to mass produce the R1T the R1S and the delivery van simultaneously you've got all these customers saying hey where's my truck where's my SUV while Amazon is like yeah we got you in a contract though how are you gonna prioritize our delivery vans and get us a hundred thousand by the end of this decade it just seems like they have a lot on their plate so my main hope 
hope is that they're able to narrow their focus on what truly matters, what they should prioritize, and I do think that energy efficiency and lower weight would be a really, really smart move. If they want to do a cheaper version of the R1T, maybe just make it dual motor instead of four motors, take out some of the bells and whistles, bring the price down, but ultimately make it a lighter weight, more efficient pickup truck so that the operating cost isn't so high and you're not running out of batteries extremely quickly, which I think might be the case if you're ramping production of trucks that all have 135 kilowatt hour packs and all these vans, which probably have like 100 kilowatt hour packs, now finding out how inefficient they are to drive and how the HVAC system can consume a lot of miles as you're driving around. So that's the main reasons I'm worried about Rivian right now because I really do love their truck and I hope they can bring it to mass production soon. I'm glad official deliveries have begun. It seems like the people who got them are very happy with them and I just don't want this company to go bankrupt to the point that they basically have to be bought out by Amazon to stay alive. And of course, if Amazon owns Rivian, they're just going to turn them into the delivery van company and they'll barely have time or batteries available to actually build their trucks. So that's the worst case scenario. Hope it doesn't happen. Feel free to comfort me down in the comments below and let me know why exactly you don't think that will happen or why you think it's possible. Thank you to everyone who's been supporting me over on Patreon. Really appreciate it. It helps out a lot. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.